Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to troubleshoot the issue that the Wi-Fi network name is not showing up in the list of the Wi-Fi list. The router and the access point that I'm using right now is AT&T versus on the router and access point it have the printed Wi-Fi network name is AT&T 5K Z9 VUB. So what I would expect is when I go back to my laptop and searching for the Wi-Fi, this Wi-Fi network name need to showing up in the Wi-Fi list on my laptop. So let me scroll on the list and you can see that there's no exactly Wi-Fi name in my Wi-Fi list on the laptop up again. You can see the name is AT&T 5K Z9 VUB ending by 9 VUB and what we have in the Wi-Fi list is nothing with that name. There's a bunch of the AT&T router because I'm staying in a apartment complex and people living in the same building also using AT&T. That's why there are so many AT&T routers right here. But the one that I'm looking for, the one ending by 9VEV, it doesn't showing up on the Wi-Fi list. So to troubleshooting this one, what we're gonna do is you can use a cable and hook up with the laptop. So let me connect to my laptop. And um, on the router, it have a web page, which is HTTP columns last last one nine two one six eight one two five four and we're gonna access into this web page from the website because whenever you connect the cable to the laptop you will actually hook up to the router from the website you can go to http one nine two one six eight one dot one dot two five four and you can see that the network is on it means my laptop has been connected to the router and you go into this web page, which is a IP address of the router. You are able to connect to the router and you see the admin page. And when you scroll down to the Wi-Fi section of the page, you see that the network name is actually MobileView because the person who used the router before actually changed the default name into a new name. So that's why the default name that printed on the router, which is ATT 5K Z9 VUB, it doesn't show up in the Wi-Fi list. So I just move in. So I always looking for the default name, but um, I cannot find it. So it take me a while to troubleshooting. And when I able to connect to the router through the local cable, I figure out that the network name is Moe View. The network name is here, and the password. It's also changed to baby mama instead of the default password that printed on the device. The username and the password on the router are gonna be work at the first time that you order the equipment from the AT&T. But in case that you buy the used one or you just move in to the new apartment and someone has been using this device for a while, chances he may change the username and the password so you can just connect the laptop with the router through the cable and go into this website 192.168.1.254 and you actually can see the network name and the password and now I can unplug the cable and connect to the Wi-Fi so unplug this one and now this is the Wi-Fi network that I'm connect to because this is the name of my router network ID so just connect and the password is showing up right here next because this is my home network I can say yes and now I'm able to connect to the Wi-Fi and I can go into a website see Vietnamese news website I'm able to connect to the internet this is my Vietnamese news website so that's one to recap what we've done today is we troubleshooting uh, why the Wi-Fi network name doesn't showing up in the list of the Wi-Fi on the laptop. The reason is this is a used router. Someone has been changed the default network name and also the password, the one that printed on the router 
to a new value. The only way you can see what the network name has been changed to is connect the router with the laptop through the cable. When you connect to the router from the laptop, going to the website with the IP address is 192.168.1.254 and from here you can see the new network name that has been changed from the default name and also the password you can access to the router through the new SSID and the password and you're able to access to the internet eventually thank you for the watching bye